Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's short video I wanted to do a bit of a follow up on the recent discovery of an unusual signal that the Russian scientists uh, claimed was some sort of an extraterrestrial signal from the uh, solar system not so far away from us. Now in this video we're going to briefly discuss the newly proposed ideas and also some of the commentary by SETI uh, or Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence and we're going to basically conclude uh, what this signal was all about. Welcome to What the Math and enjoy this video. So let's start with the bad news and basically the bad news is that as you probably guessed, um, well it wasn't really the aliens. As a matter of fact, it's very, very likely to have been some sort of a Russian military satellite that actually sent the signal in the range which uh, SETI telescopes often detected as well. And here this uh, Russian satellite uh, or telescope uh, called RATAN 600 may have actually detected one of the Russian satellites that were in the vicinity of the same region of space as uh, this particular star we're talking about or looking, about, uh, looking at right now. And this is a star and a planet called HD 164595. This is only about 94 light years away from Earth, so it's not very far. And even though this signal was kind of consistent with with something that you may actually expect from the aliens, uh, it was also consistent with something you would expect from the humans, of course. And in this case, uh, of course, this was just a military satellite. We don't really know which one, probably some kind of a secret satellite. But uh, the Russian astronomer by the name of Yulia Sotnikova um, wrote in, um, in a really interesting article uh, published a few days ago in um, early September of 2016, explaining that it's pretty obvious that this was definitely not the aliens and very likely ha have been um, a, a human-made satellite, uh, many of which have been previously detected by SETI as well. As a matter of fact, uh, many similar detections happened previously, specifically during the Soviet period, and many similar um, spacecraft, uh, specifically here we're talking about secret military spacecraft or um, satellites, have uh, previously been responsible for these false alarms as well. And one of the senior astronomers from SETI, or Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, by the name of uh, Seth uh, Shostak, has actually I've been saying this all along because SETI itself have many times detected these unusual signals and then have basically analyzed them and realized that it was just some sort of a secret satellite that was just uh, not uh, available or not well described by the military because it obviously was a secret satellite and uh, this secret satellite uh, very likely produced um, a signal that was uh, powerful enough to actually resemble um, an alien signal with the same kind of frequency of course. And just to clarify and just to make this certain, um, SETI has actually pointed their really, really large telescope called Allen Telescope Array for about two days between Sunday and Monday of August 28th and August 29th. And they pointed exactly precisely at that star and, and this planet just to see if maybe they detect something as well because, you know, they wanted to be sure. And of course, they found nothing. And this is kind of what we expected to begin with because it's very very likely that if you just have a single detection and you don't actually have any repetitive detection so basically you hear this once but you never hear it again it probably came from something homemade uh meaning it came from something earth made or maybe it just came from some kind of a anomalous um, star source or a space source that may have been a pulsar, a neutron star, or something else with a lot of uh, power to produce very, very high energetic rays. But I guess the good news is that, uh, well, once again, we use the science to be able to kind of um, analyze this and also... Uh, show that, well, it, this was a false alarm, but nevertheless, uh, most of the scientists uh, studying uh, these types of signals are usually very, very excited to see if we actually do detect something that is actually a signal for, from the aliens. But you know what, uh, a lot of the factors in this story didn't really add up to begin with, like for example it was only detected once, it was only detected by a relatively outdated telescope in Russia as opposed to SETI, and of course the fact that it was kind of really close to us, only 94 light years away, and this is the first time we heard something from that system, and uh, the system that we're talking about does have uh, at least one exoplanet we've detected, but this exoplanet is of course a gas giant. But anyway, so maybe in the future we'll hear these again and maybe one day we'll actually do or will discover something uh, that is alien and is um, intelligent. But today is not that day and possibly 2016 is not that year either. Maybe sometime in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. 
And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this with your friends and possibly also leave a comment. What do you actually think? Do you think we'll actually detect aliens one day or are we currently the only intelligent extraterrestrial or I guess terrestrial species in this galaxy? What do you think? Let me know. I'll see you guys later. Give me later. Bye bye.